Record number of COVID cases in the Blue Valley School District. Good evening. I'm Haley Harrison. Out of its 22,000 students, the district reported 111 positive COVID cases in the first week of December. Most of those cases were among students. KNBC 9's Jackson Kurtz is live outside the district's Board of Education meeting where board members heard concerns from parents tonight, Jackson. Hey, that's right. Well, right now, Blue Valley officials say no COVID policies are being changed despite the recent up in numbers. Masking is only required with kids through K through eight. But for many parents who spoke tonight, they're wanting those students to have a choice. Our children are bearing the burden of this when they don't have to. Are we tired of a board who puts politics before students? The negativity surrounding schools is toxic. Back and forth from parents and students at Blue Valley School District's Board of Education meeting. It seems these policies and decisions approved by the school board struck a nerve. You agreed to speak under the conditions that you wouldn't attack me. I didn't attack you personally. Let's just let him finish. A security guard asked one man to step outside of the room following an outburst. All COVID protocols need to be dropped. Many of the parents who spoke are wanting COVID protocols like masking and quarantining to be dropped from the district. It sure feels like bullying and has to end. But with winter break right around the corner, some students are wanting more protection from the virus. Do you care about your students? If you do, you'll protect them by bringing back the mask mandate. From Overland Park, Jackson Kurtz, KNBC 9 News. A high school junior in the district started a petition at change.org to require masks for all students. It has right now about 100 signatures. The Kearney School Board voted tonight to end its mask mandate December 23rd. Masks will only be recommended for students, staff and visitors. It's in response to a Cole County court order that says local governments and school districts cannot impose mask mandates and other health orders. Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt referenced that order when he sent a cease and desist letter to Kearney schools and 32 two other districts regarding masks last week. And the Missouri AG is doubling down on his threat to one metro district. Eric Schmidt is telling the Lee's Summit schools to end their mask and quarantine policies immediately. Now this follows the district's sharp defense of its COVID-19 policies and legal authority after it received one of the AG's cease and desist letters last week. An attorney for the district says that they are prepared to take that defense to court if needed. Well today, Jackson County joined St. Louis County in challenging that Cole County court order. They are are repealing the ruling while asking for a new trial. A resolution to restore a mask mandate in eastern Jackson County failed today. Commissioners defeated it five to four. The county health department says case numbers have been rising for six straight weeks. The test positivity rate rose from 8% in late October to almost 15% in late November. Some people at today's meeting were against masks. Anyone that hasn't had it probably will still get this, no matter what they do. Just because it, it failed doesn't make the, doesn't make the to it. We have to just forget about these numbers and that people are still getting sick. Blue Springs plans to oppose any future mask mandates imposed by the Jackson County Legislature. The City Council adopted a resolution during a special meeting today. The resolution makes it clear the city of Blue Springs will not support a return to mask mandates.